Watch your retro game fans, welcome back to the Zeus Stars and Nominator Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus, and for this let's play, I bring you an arcade classic, which was Cuba back in 1982. This was released by Gottlieb, one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, I even actually, actually owned the original arcade PCB for my machine uh, many moons ago, but that was actually a copy board. Sold that for about 50 quid. But uh, I had many, many good games on that, and I actually remember seeing it uh, in a cafe, not in a cafe, in a, in a restaurant back in around 1983 when I was a kid and uh, my mum used to take me to her works when it was school holidays because, you know, I couldn't be on my own at that age. Um, so she used to take me uh, to work and then afterwards go to this restaurant uh, place and have a coffee and I would have a Coke and I saw this machine for the first time and I remember it was something like 20p ago or 10p ago and uh, brilliant, God, it seems so long ago now and it is but the the game itself I don't think has aged I think it's, it's very simple design but very addictive as well and I love the characters from, from this game such as Coily the snake who's always trying to get you the weird sounds, the weird, weird noises and, the, and the, the funny explanations that are used it's very very it's an odd game, it's definitely one of a kind. Now I'm playing this off of a, a PS1, uh, the original version of Cuba, which was released in 1999. It came with, um, it came amongst uh, a 3D version and um, a story plot version. And of course this one was thrown in, the actual classic original 2D, which is what we're gonna play now. So let's crack on with it. And there we go, everything's identical to the arcade, absolutely identical. And there you go, there's uh, Cuba bouncing away down the pyramids there. And there's Coily already, he'll be coming out of that in a minute. Uh, once you get used to controls, it's okay, but you've got to be careful because um, I remember having to stand slightly diagonal on my arcade machine when this was first, when I put this into my machine because um, I had the standard uh, joystick. So you couldn't, where are you going? Whoa, that was close. Oh no, I could have bloody done that then. Oh, I'm gonna waste a, a brick. Oh well. Um, yeah, I had to uh, stand slightly, like 45 degrees to my left to play it properly or get used to go pressing the joystick up, which would go up left or something like that. And uh, down, which would be down right or, as I said, something strange. Oh, can I get to it in time? Yes. God, he half comes out quick, doesn't he? And you might pick up some vibration noises. That's my uh, PlayStation toy bad vibrating away. Could have turned that off, but couldn't be bothered. Ooh, come on. I should get this pyramid done. Great game, really is one of my all-time favourites. Ported over to many machines. There we go, pyramid two done. Now, <laughs> these stupid little things, I have no idea what they're saying. It's very comical. <laughs> stupid bloody noises. Come on then. Ah, there we go. Shit, there's one brick right over there in the bottom bloody left. That's going to be a nightmare to get hold of. Oh, that's what I could do with. Perfect, that's froze all enemies as you can see. Just for a few seconds. Now I should I should get this one done. No! Oh bloody hell, that was close. Okay, come on, I've got to, I've got to do this. Get out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is such a cool game. Love it. Never get tired of this. And then you later on you get these little bastards that come down the pyramid and change the flipping colour of the brick you've already um, been on. Which is pretty bloody annoying. Come on then, Coily. Come and get it, boy. There, oh no, that's the bonus pill. I could have done with that. So I'm zipping through these first levels. Doing quite well for myself. There we go. Wow. First level done. All four rounds of the first level. Now it gets a bit more tricky because you've got to 
colour them in twice. Right, okay. <laughs> what the fuck are those things saying? Crazy. Ah, stuck a bit there. Coming after me. Okay. Oh, PlayStation joy pads going like crazy at the minute. Oh, bloody hell! I think I've uh, got myself stuck now. So I can. Oh. No, this little bastard. Oh well, wow. um, good job actually, because that little bastard was changing all my brick colours then. Get in here. Go. Oh, coily, coming back too quick, mate. It's not good. And then, gotcha. I don't think this game actually ever ends. You get to something like level nine, and it just repeats. Oh, you bastard! That little fucking thing with the shades. What well, it's done? It's changed all my bloody. Oh, I couldn't get out of that. Damn it, he changed all my bloody bricks. Never mind, got the level done. Okay. There was also a brilliant version of this on the Spectrum. I did a long play of it quite some time ago called Pogo. The most convincing um, um, port of this game. Played really well. So remember guys, we've got a Specky or a Specky emulator, play that, it's called Pogo, P-O-G-O, -O, promotion. Very good um, conversion there. Come on then, come and get me. Right, okay. Oh, fucker. Hard enough without you changing my bloody colours. Oh no, that was careless. <clears throat> right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do I get a bonus landing on the top? Yeah, I do. I think you get a bonus when you uh, land on the top pyramid, on the top brick of the pyramid. That's so early. Okay. Yeah, this is actually arcade spot on. And you would expect that anyway from a PlayStation. No reason for it to be a bad port, uh, a bad conversion. Oh no, Cordy's gonna get me. I didn't want to use that. Oh, that was good. That was lucky. Oh. oh! Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want that green thing coming down. And he did. Oh, did you see how close I bloody completed that pyramid then, you little wanker? Oh, he's changed the entire fucking colours of my bricks now. Oh, that bastard green thing. <laughs> you see that? I was just about to land on that brick and uh, get to the next stage, but he got in my way. Oh, well, da. Yeah, right. So, Cuba, what do I think of it? Brilliant game, no doubt about it. Classic on all formats. Just an all-time classic arcade game. Never get old. Just enjoyable to play. Loads of silly noises and weirdness about it. Uh, and if you haven't played this in your lifetime, then there's something seriously wrong with you. So I order you, Zeus orders you to go out and play it. No matter what format it is, format it's on, go and play it. It's a cracking game. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that Let's Play. Until next time, take care of yourselves and uh, happy gaming.